this is a short introduction to the OpenSUSE 11.4 operating system with the KDE desktop. I've installed this from the Live CD. It's available. A couple of new changes that you'll notice right off the bat. The Linux kernel has been updated, which provides a ton of new drivers for the operating system, including some of the new uh, Open Broadcom wireless drivers for those of you who are out there using laptops. Laptop support for wireless drivers is always a problem. Uh, and so the drivers being available is a great new addition for the operating system. A couple of the other things that you may notice is the office has changed from OpenOffice. Now this is the first distribution, major distribution, to offer LibreOffice as its default office application. And so we've got our office apps right here. A couple of things you may want to do if this is a live CD that you're running it from is actually update the rest of the software. Not all the office applications get installed with the live CD and you're going to need to run the update which is available just by clicking on the K Launcher. Let's go to Computer, Install, Remove Software and you're going to notice there's going to be some software apps that will need to be installed right away. And so if I just hit accept without changing anything, this is a list of the applications you're going to want to download right off the bat. So I'll go ahead and hit continue and go ahead and download those real quick. And the installation takes about 15 to 20 minutes or so to actually download and install all the application software that you'll need. And now I can run different applications from my LibreOffice like uh, the database. And so this will give me the opportunity to have all my Office applications installed. So that's the change, big change for the Office applications. Now we've also got some changes in the web browsers. Now Firefox we'll take a quick look at first. This is uh, Firefox 4 with the beta version. And so this is um, major changes, they've introduced a major redesign of the user interface, as you can see here, uh, with the way Firefox looks. And so this is a new updated, um, new update to Firefox, and this is one of the first major distributions to actually release Firefox 4 with it. The other one is going to be within, within Conqueror itself, which is our file browser. They've got a new backend, it's WebKit based backend, which uh, gives improved performance over the web. And so what we'll look at here is not only can we of course use it for a file browser to manage the files on my computer. I can also use it as a web browser as well. And so there have been some changes to Conqueror itself and uh, web page support has been increased. Alright, now let's take a look at the KDE Plasma Desktop version 4.6 which comes with OpenSUSE 11.4. So what we've got here, let's go up to the top. Uh, we can definitely add the widgets as we go through, and they've got a plethora of widgets for us available to add to our desktop. So you just have to double click on them, and you can add different widgets as you want to go through. And I'll just scroll through over here so you can see kind of the collection of widgets that come with our desktop. And of course, we can actually get new widgets as well if we choose, choose to. So these are the widgets that we've got available for us. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at um, some of the other options that we've got within our desktop. We can actually rearrange the way our desktop looks, which is kind of nice. We go to the desktop settings here. You can see we can change the actual layout of how our widgets show up. And so if I hit the drop down arrow, we've got a grid disk desktop, and I'll go ahead and hit apply on this one. And so I'll go ahead and <coughs> move this out of the way. You can see it kind of rearranges the desktop a little bit. We've got a newspaper layout. Some of the widgets work better with some of the different layouts than others. This one here kind of rearranges them this way and uh, makes it look kind of nice. It's great having some different options for us to choose. We've also got the search and launch, which is a great way of, uh, if you've got a touch screen or a small screen to use, you've got the op option here to just kind of have everything categorized by a group. And we can modify, of course, what applications are in here. But this is a nice desktop setup. I'm going to go ahead and move it back to the actual default desktop. I'll go ahead and hit apply. We've also got the option here of getting wallpapers as well. You we can hit get new wallpapers, and we'll have um, a wallpaper application open up. It allows us to load up applications. And you can do by newest, rated, most <coughs> rating, most downloads. And I'll click on most downloads here. You can see we've got several different options for wallpaper. If I go ahead and hit install here, it should install my wallpaper for me. And I'll go ahead and close this now. And you can see that I've got different wallpaper options now. If I double click on that, hit apply here. So 
So this is the overview of OpenSUSE 11.4 with the KDE desktop.